Well, I'm in the kitchen right now. Excuse the hair, I just washed it. That's my favorite little ponytail there. I'm trying to, uh, you know, wash it. I need the cherry tomatoes. I love cherry tomatoes. I can, I can eat them like grapes. And I keep them all the way on the counter because I'm always popping them in my mouth. But tomorrow I'm going to be doing fish. I'm going to be doing whiting. Um, and normally when I do whiting, I take them out uh, the night before and I go ahead on them, defrost and, and uh, prep them. I like to prep my food because uh, that way I just come right into the kitchen and store it. Now you can put the seasoning on there from the lemon pepper seasoning. I have this one seasoning I use to cost it on or something like that. It's for fish, it's real good. And I let them stay overnight and then I'll just come in in the morning. And I normally cook them and see if I can show you where I cook. On um, my lower counter, I'm going around my kitchen and trying to show you where I cook my fish. It's see this little cabinet right there? That's where I usually cook my fish. There's a fry pan there. And see, I can just roll over there. With my wheelchair, and I'm in my wheelchair right now. So I'm probably just like getting the top of my head. First of all, the higher you would get my whole body, but I'm in my wheelchair. Yeah. And then there's my stove over there, which is at, at level to where I can use it. But um, this is my refrigerator right here. And my refrigerator is where well, I keep my fish. Let me show you some of the things I'm talking about. Now, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to get these pictures. Asparagus from Walmart, and they are delicious. You drop them, this is on my side, I even the calorie day diet. You just drop them, and I spray down my pan with olive oil spray, and then you just put them in there and let them saute a little bit. And if you want to, you can put you some butter. I get that um, butter spray and put it on top of it that keeps the calories down. Of course, asparagus is so low in calories anyway, it's only like and the cows are a whole container, so probably the whole container. And then I'm just going to use the spray. I don't need the real oil. oil. And you know, this is my freezer. And let me show you my smoothie. This is a smoothie mix that I normally have for breakfast. Let me turn it around so you can see. This is my smoothie mix that I normally have for breakfast. This is why I make my smoothies now. I use my bullet tank in there. I'm going to make one more morning, but this is cherry, berry, and kale. It's got strawberries, wild blueberries, cherries, and kale. It's two times antioxidants. It's very good, very good. I usually can get this, this up for two miles. It's only 60 calories in one cup. So I scoop in a cup and then a, then a cup of milk, of a almond milk. So that's it. I'm going to have all kinds of freezing here. All of that's going to be at a broccoli. And of course, I've always got my main, my main thing is spinach, and I've always got spinach. Never going to find me in my house without spinach, because I've always got spinach. And I did purchase some of these that cost flakes. This is what you call flakes here. When I purchased these things, I did not realize that it was cultivated corn and in Vietnam, Vietnam, Vietnam. After I read up on it, I decided I didn't want to eat it. I did get one, one container of this cup of five but it's very good fish. If you're not a fish eater and don't like the fishy taste, you would like this. I like the fish. I ate a couple of pieces of it. We'll probably finish this one. Well, well, maybe I will not purchase it again, but we will see. But I didn't like the fact where they cut it. And I've got some protein and more things to bring in. So this is my freezer. So I was prepped before tomorrow I'm going to be cooking uh, some white fish. And I think I'm going to try some fries. They have these fries at Walmart, Red Robin fries. I may try those. I can have two of those. I still stay in my, in my um, calorie count. I haven't been doing great on my calorie count, calorie count the last few weeks anyway. But I'm going to get back to it because I don't want to gain back weight on lot. And then over here is my stove. And see, my stove is, I can just roll over to my stove. I'm going to show how I roll over to my stove. I can just roll over to my stove. I need to cook. I need to cook right here on my stove. And my countertop has pretty shelf level slot and then I can roll back to the camera and talk to you. And 
see there's no microwave over there. So everything is set up to where I can um, use it properly and cook my dinner. So like I say, tomorrow I'm going to do white fish, french fries. I probably won't try to do any kind of and, and, and be a fair just because I have been really eating a lot of high fat food lately and I need to really stop. I've been doing a lot of carbohydrates and I really need to stop. I want to get rid of the carbs and I've been trying to eat a lot of meat. And I find out that meat has very few carbs in it and very little fat. I'm really on your way because I want to show you something. I'm going to open my refrigerator and show you something. I have been eating but I have been eating beef meat right here. Hillshire form. I've been eating the rotisserie, seasoned chicken breast, the turkey, the ham, and I love pastrami and the pastrami and uh, beef. And these actually are very. If you want to try to cut on your carbs and you just can't give up meat, because I tried to give up meat for about a week and I did, this only has 1% carbohydrate. Now the sodium is a little high, and you got a blood pressure problem, you want to consider that. It's only one gram of fat, and it's only 60 calories in two ounces. And two ounces of this is a lot. I'm telling you, what, you might say, well, two ounces is nothing, but no, it's not. It's really a lot because. I have a food scale, which I always use my food scale, which I keep over there on the counter by the stove. You see that food scale? I mentioned, but these are very thinly cut, so you get a lot. And see, I always use wraps. I'm really not using bread that much anymore. I'm doing wraps, and I've learned to love these little wraps. called Joseph Pizza Bread Wraps, and it's got six grams of protein in it. This is what I do. I'm going to tell you what you can do with these, too. If you really die, we haven't had pizza in a while, you want to die, take these, put them in the pan, with some, spray them down with some uh, olive oil, put them in there, put you some, uh, let them get good and warm. In the fry pan, put you some uh, garlic powder on them, put you some pizza sauce, because pizza sauce only has 30 calories in one fourth cup. Put some pizza sauce on it, put you some spinach on it, Put you some uh, mozzarella cheese on it. The mozzarella is from Philadelphia and it's melt. It's 90 calories in one fourth cup. It's almost like you got a little uh, small pizza. And, you know, it's going to kind of like maybe crave that carb. Carb that craving for pizza. I do love some pizza. I know I'm used to eating when you get off that for a long way to rush one you. And then I'll eat me some cherry tomatoes with it. So, that's in my kitchen. I'm going to be cooking fish tomorrow. I will do a smoothie in the morning before I, I come in the kitchen to cook. And I'll show you probably how I prep the fish. And once I change my mind, try not to do fish. I'm kind of uh, undecided about that. I may just do, I try to eat fish at least a couple of times a week now because it says good to eat fish. And I don't like taking a lot of acids like fish oil tablets and stuff like that. So I try to eat fish. But I will be doing the smoothie tomorrow morning, so I'll probably show you how to do the smoothie for that. And then I will uh, prep for that. But this, I just want to show you how I'm talking about what I'm going to be cooking in the kitchen. I will be cooking tomorrow. And uh, sad is usually the day when I do any kind of cleaning. I do need to clean my walls. Because I like to have my walls really white. I don't have any pictures on my walls. And I'm going to try to clean some little spots I got and show you how I do my cleaning. If I do do my roll around. I'm actually going to do a routine next week of my in my role on the show how I do my exercises for I I was riding my bike and I do ride my bike but I also now start to try to do more stretch exercises with my role on. So hopefully I can get into that routine. But I'm rolling back and forth. But anyway, you get out here for blow dry the hair and everything and I hey, maybe if I'm here like this in the morning though because I'm really kinda of getting tired of full of hair. The bait and all I want to get me one of those acro puff bones or something to put up there. Thank you for looking at the video. Subscribe, like, and keep watching because I'll keep posting.